Hello, in this video we will look into developmental psychology. Developmental psychology examines the changes and developments in the person from conception till death. Developmental psychologists are specialists who got a bachelor's degree in psychology preferably and later on a master's and PhD degree in developmental psychology. Pedagogue and developmental psychologists are not the same. Pedagogues are specialists who are interested in education, theory and practice. On the other hand, developmental psychologist examines the development through whole life, not just the education side. So, what do these developmental psychologists do? To begin with, they can work as a developmental psychologist in kindergartens and nurseries and also in hospitals and clinics. Moreover, they can direct elderly people to certain targets in nursing and rest homes and develop and evaluate some programs for adolescents and teenagers in orphanages. Finally, PhD level developmental psychologists can conduct scientific research and also teach in universities. There are various perspectives to developmental psychology. First, biological perspective. According to this school, child development is consisting of certain pre-programmed stages that can only be unfolded when the right time comes. For example, achieving bladder control in children in the toilet training requires bowel muscles to be ready. Second, psychodynamical perspective proposes that early childhood crisis determines the later development. For example, when a young child wants to take the toys of others, his id tells him to take the toy right away, but his super ego tells him not to take the toy in any way because it belongs to someone else. In such a crisis, the outcome may determine later development and choices of that children. Next is the learning perspective. According to this school, a child's development is mainly shaped by his observation of his environment. For example, there is a saying that the apple never falls far from the tree, because the children usually observe their parent when they are growing. Next, Cognitive Developmental Perspective. According to this one, child development is mainly shaped by his effort to perceive the outer world. For example, if the baby makes the experiment, whenever he cries he receives food, the experiment may shape his perception about the world and the later development. And last but not least, according to contextual perspective, the child development is mainly affected by child's social contextual environments. For example, a child has different social contexts and environments, such as family context, relatives context and school context, and the combination of all these contexts may affect his development. In this video, we talked about developmental psychology and its difference from pedagogy and the developmental psychologist and what do they do. And lastly, main perspectives in the subfield.